emoji face that's spooky 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 spooky, spooky. Hey guys, I'm doing this emoji thon thing. Emoji a thon. 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 That's it. Yeah, I saw a bunch of people doing this, uh, putting up TBR for three a thon, so I started to look at it and saw it was pretty cool. Even though I really never use emojis, I don't use emojis. I don't know why. I don't use emojis very often at all. The only emojis I really use are like smiley faces and sad face and like the laughing face, and that's pretty much it when I do that. So that was kind of like, oh, okay. But yeah, we're going to do this anyway. I haven't seen, I don't know what some of these emojis are. I have not seen some of these emojis before, but I'm doing this. So yeah. Also, this is created by Dylan the Reader, who I followed on Instagram before I followed his YouTube, which is very backward, I feel like. But maybe not. I'm not sure. Anyway, he has a great bookstagram. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that was a thing. I'm pretty sure that that's the person I'm thinking of whose Instagram I always like their pictures. But yeah, anyway, let's just actually get into this TBR. So I'm not getting most of the books on the list. I mean, my goal is to get like three of the books on this list because I'm probably going to read things that are off of this list, to be honest. But we'll see. Okay, let's make my goal four. I think the challenge is like, try to do four. I'm going to try to do four, even though I'm about to show you guys a lot of books really quick. And like, yeah, I'm going to try to do four. Wish me luck. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Let's just, let's just get into TBR. Let's just do this. You know, also, most of these books are gay, except for, like, two, which means I need to do better next time, but we'll see. Okay, first of all, the, like, spooky emoticon, the scared face, the ghostly scared face, um, it's read a thriller or a horror. I don't read a lot of thrillers or horrors. I can't even find a thriller that I haven't read on my shelf, but I have this collection here by Emily Carroll called Through the Woods, which I think is categorized under horror. I think some of it's, like, fairy tales or something, um, and some of the stories are horror-esque. So, I'm going to include it, also because it's pretty short, and I think I'll be able to definitely read this one at least. So that sounds pretty fun. There's a gift box emoji. Again, never seen it. Um, but, <laughs> um, it is a read a book that was gifted to you. I had some options for this. But I'm going to go with... Confessions of a Mass by Yukio Mishima. Uh, my friend Alex gives me the best books ever. He's literally the freaking best. He gave me a gift, and it's his, it was his birthday. I still haven't given his birthday again, but he gave me this book the day before his birthday. And I'm just like, oh my god, you're like the best person ever. This is a story that is um, a modern Japanese literature story with a gay main character, I believe. And I am so excited to read this. Like, I've heard some good things about Yukio Mishima from some of the people on YouTube who have read him. And, oh my god, I'm so excited to read this book. It's queer. It looks like it'll be really interesting. I cannot wait to talk about it after I finish reading it. So, yeah, Alex is the best and gives the best gifts. And I'm super excited to read this. And hopefully I will definitely read this one during this month for the readathon. Robot emoji, which I've seen the, a robot emote on Twitch. Which I guess somewhere probably. I don't know. But let's read something sci-fi or futuristic. Boy Robot by Simon Curtis. I don't really know much about it. I'm pretty sure it is um, about a boy who's like part robot or cyborg or something like that. And it's also a bit queer with board or something like that. And it's also a bit queer, which is awesome. I love queer. You know that. I've already mentioned that before. Um, so yeah, this could be an option. Or... Um, yeah, the third one's a bit sci-fi, right? I, I, I'd, I'd consider it that. Like, they go into this, like, video thing. And also, I'm, I'm actually, I'm reading Ready Player One. I'm reading it with a group of people on Twitch right now. Um, it's, like, my friend AJ Polidio is the Twitch streamer, and he has a Discord, which, he has a, which has a book club, and they're reading this. So this could fit for that, and also can fit for a book with the, that you see everywhere, with eyes emoji. It's like a book that you see everywhere, because I still see this book everywhere. Uh, but yeah, God in Pink fits a lot of different things. Let's go over to things that it could possibly fit. It could fit a book that I could probably read in 24 hours, because I probably could. It's a book that takes place in a different country, um, which is the plane emoji. The one that's like the book that's in under 24 hours is like a clock emoji. And it also could fit um, a read a book that features religious diversity. There's like a, a religion emoji thing that I've never seen before, but it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, I think this book is going to knock out one of those things, so I am determined to finally finish it. So, that's the thing. The next one's emoji that's kind of going like that, but like, 
I don't know. I think it's supposed to be anticipating, like, an or excitement. I don't know. Because the thing was, read a book that you've been anticipating. <laughs> I'm just going to go. At the Edge of the Universe by Sean David Hutchinson. I love Sean David Hutchinson. I'm obsessed with Sean David Hutchinson. And I'm really excited to read this book, and I've been anticipating reading this book. It's just kind of a big book. So I probably don't, I don't know if I'm going to read next month, but I am putting it in my sights to read it in the next couple of months uh, because I do really want to read this. The re one of the reasons I haven't been reading this because I have a lot of books in the library. Some of the books that I showed you were from the library um, that I need to get through, um, and I've just been renewing them over and over again. So once the library stack cuts down a bit more, this will definitely be in the running for one of those things that I might read. Um, speaking of library books, though, that something I just realized with this month is that I have some things on hold that I need to go pick up. So maybe I should throw those on the TBR for one of these categories. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay, so there are three books that are on my way to me from the library that I am not going to be able to renew probably. One of those books is The Inexplicable Logic of Your Life by Benjamin Lair Sands. It's actually already at my library ready for me to pick up. I think that book can fit a few different categories. It's definitely a book that I've been anticipating. Um, it is a book about a marginalized group, I think. I'm pretty sure. And it also is a book that, I don't know. I also could just be a freebie read, which is like they're the book stack thing, which is a freebie read. So I could do that. Noteworthy by Riley Rutgate, which is perfect because it is a song that has a lot of music in it. It's about acapella. Um, and there's a music note emoji, which is part of one of the challenges to read a book that involves music in some way. So Noteworthy by Riley Rutgate um, is the perfect fit for that. On its way to my library right now, it's in transit to my library, is One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. This book actually is a mystery kind of thriller book, um, which means I have something else that fits the thriller category um, with the spooky emoji. So maybe I can switch out through the woods for that if I feel like it next month. I'm just giving myself some options here. I'm very flippant and just kind of mood reading person. So I'm just giving myself some options. We're just going to leave it at that because I feel like I've been putting too many things in this TBR, but it's like, it's open, and I'll probably do some type of wrap-up at the end of the month, and like, actually talk about the things that I actually did read for the Emoji-thon, Emoji-a-thon, um, so yeah, I'm going to try to do that, and if you are participating, and you have some a TBR up, you should let me know, even though I probably have, some people I'll, I'll probably have already seen your thing and liked it and stuff, but like, yeah, tell me if you have a TBR, tell me what you're planning on reading, um, are you also not a big emoji user like me, or is that, am I, like, literally alone in my age group? Probably. I don't know. Whatever. It's whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good morning, evening, or night, or whatever time it is that you're watching this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.